Republican Governors Association decided to pull its TV ad supporting Matt Bevan. Bevan is the Republican candidate for governor. He's facing Democrat Jack Conway and Independent Drew Curtis. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us now with more about what the move could mean in this race. Mark? Well, it depends who you ask. Democrats are hoping this is a sign that the Republican Governors Association Super PAC doesn't think Bevan can win. Republicans say Bevan is doing fine, and they point to a new TV ad that he's debuting tomorrow. If you don't have money when, uh, when your opponent makes accusations, if you cannot come back and refute those or at least address them, you're dead. U of L political science professor Dewey Clayton says television ads are important. So it's big news that the Republican Governors Association pulled TV ads supporting Matt Bevin. A spokesperson for the Bevin campaign says they aren't commenting. And Jim Stansberry, chair of the Republican Party of Kentucky, downplayed its significance. He's got a new ad coming out tomorrow. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, in terms of uh, a slowdown, I don't see any slowdown. Democrats pounced on the news. The Kentucky Democrat Party issued a statement saying, in part, even Republicans recognize that East Coast con man Matt Bevin cannot be trusted to serve as Kentucky's governor. The Republican Governors Association isn't giving a reason for pulling the ads and says they could put them back on later. Clayton says it's tough to say why the group pulled the ads. It could mean that uh, they don't think pouring more money will actually help the, the candidate. It could mean that. or. Or it could mean that the candidate is doing fine on his own. The most recent filings from July show Bevan raised nearly $2.7 million so far, with Jack Conway at $2.6 million. But these filings show Bevan lent his own campaign $2.5 million of that money. Conway hasn't lent himself anything. And as of July, Bevan had only $3,000 left, while Conway had $1.5 million. Clayton says new fundraising reports due next week will tell a lot as will purchases of airtime. I would expect to see inundation. I'd expect to see just basically, you know, both candidates hitting the airways. Now, the Republican Governors Association says it spent $3 million on those Bevin ads. That's more than either candidate raised. A Bevin spokesman says that this new ad, which Bevin is paying for himself, will feature his family, similar to the one that he ran in the Republican primary. Mark Vanderoff, 